Okay, guys, we're on a 2007 Jeep Wrangler, and I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough using this X-Tool D8. This is my back my backup scan tool. I have an MS906TS, and for any of you that has watched any of my videos, I do these walkthroughs, so if you're trying to decide on a scan tool, and you're trying to figure out if a, at least if a MS906 uh, Maxisys scan tool will fit your needs i try to do a walkthrough on different cars so you can see what active test and special functions uh they have available on those vehicles so i've got the key on right now uh so in this particular tool i'll just go ahead and show the the, the special function menu now this is a different special function menu than what we're going to be getting into this is the special function menu that this is common to any car you hook to uh, as far as the screen and, and what icons are available here, what buttons are available. Not all these are going to be applicable to what car you haven't hooked to. For instance, this car does not have an electronic parking brake. It's actually got a brake handle right here. So this electronic parking brake, obviously that's not going to do anything. Uh... Injector coating, this is a gas engine, V6. Uh, as far as I know, the injector coating are for diesels. Obviously, DPF, that's for diesel. Uh, so just know that, you know, obviously not all these are, are going to work on every vehicle. So let's go ahead. I'm going to, if, if you hit diagnose on this, uh, you got your, uh, you can select your Europe, your Asia, your America, China, and Australia vehicles. If I was going to manually put this in, yeah, I'd select Jeep. Uh, if you hit bin up top here, you got auto scan, which I'm getting ready to do. You got scan code, which you scan the barcode, and it detects the bin and uh, sets the scanner up for it. Or you can manually input the bin. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to hit auto scan, and it will uh, attempt to read the vehicle, which it did. Hit OK. Now I'm going to hit System Selection. If you hit Automatic Scan, it's going to scan all the modules and uh, read all the codes. When you hit uh, System Selection, you're able to manually select the module. So I'm just going to quickly select each module. And we're just going to do, we're going to concentrate on the actuation test and the special functions of this scan tool. And I'm just going to allow you to read what what buttons are available here. Uh, so to give you an idea of what kind of uh, actuation tests are available for this vehicle using this scan tool. Okay, now we'll go to special functions. Okay, we'll go to transmission control module. And that's what I thought. So this this vehicle, the the uh, transmission is controlled by the PCM. So actually, that transmission control module shouldn't even be there. This doesn't have a separate transmission control module. The usually whenever you see PCM, uh, powertrain control module usually means that the transmission control module is built into the engine control module, and when they combine them both you have a power control powertrain control module. So let's go to analog brakes. We'll go to actuation test. Special functions. Okay, uh, occupant restraint. No special functions or active test for that. Does have read system configuration. Now this doesn't have the automatic sway bar, so it may not pick it up. Yeah. Some vehicles, will, it will actually, and the reason I said it may not pick it up, what I meant is it's not going to pick it up, but some vehicles I've noticed with this scan tool, it will, it will go ahead and show you what options are available even though it doesn't have that particular module. 
I hope that made sense. For instance, occupant classification. Let's just say that this car didn't have that particular module. It would still list these, and then if I tried to go into, say, live data or read a trouble code, then it would get the invalid, you know, no, it couldn't communicate. But anyway, nonetheless, the, under the occupant classification, there is no special functions or active test. Steering angle sensor, again, no active uh, functions or special functions. Wireless control, okay, we got special functions here, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that. So if you replace the wireless control module, it looks like you can use this scan tool to uh, configure a new one. PCM replaced, so you can replace the PCM using this scan tool. Erase all ignition keys, of course, uh, program ignition keys. Uh, so that's a little different screen than what we was in whenever we was programming the key for this vehicle in another video. This is uh, all under special functions of the wireless control module. It might actually be wire, yeah, it's, it says wireless control. I get wireless control module and wireless communication modules mixed up sometimes. So we're going to go to amplifier. I don't know if this has an amplifier, so it may not see anything on it. Yeah. Instrument cluster. Actuation test. Special functions. Update measurement unit. This feature allows the user to change the unit of measurement used. Huh. Interesting. Case uh, intrusion. Not sure. I don't think this has got. Yeah. Okay. Radio. No special function or active test. I was looking to see some some vehicles. If you swap out radios, you have to be able to uh, reset them. And I don't know. It doesn't look like you'd be able to on this, but you may not have to on this. You might be able to just swap one in, like a salvage yard radio, and it may work. I, I'm not sure about that on on these Jeeps. The central gateway generally has quite a few things. Uh, actuation test. The TIPM, uh, Total Integrated Power Module, on these Chryslers and Jeeps, they control a lot of stuff. And they can cause a lot of headache when you're trying to troubleshoot things that uh, that's controlled by it. So this has a pretty good selection of things that you can pick from as far as actuation test. So special function, looks like auto door locks, uh, program tire size. Okay, update, wait a minute, update radio market select and DVD region code. So I think that might actually do it, I'm not sure. If you used to swap out the radio with a salvage yard radio, that may be what you need to go into to uh, get the radio to work. Anyway, that is all I've got on this. This is just a quick walkthrough using the uh, X-Tool D8 on a 2007 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, this is with Jeep Software 8.55, which is the latest software to date. This is November of 21. Anyway, that's about all I got for you guys. You guys take care.